I remember waking up on the morning of December 28th. My parents asking me if I knew where my sister was. They said she didn't come home all night. I had this awful feeling in the pit of my stomach. I knew right- What the hell is this? Oh, shoot. We forgot to take those down after filming. Sorry. It's in nothing. loving memory of Bliss Clover, 2002 to 2020? Those are for after we find your body. Whatever you're doing, just stop it. I don't want any part of this. No, 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 we already put in so much work. Here, watch the footage. She wasn't answering her phone. It wasn't like her. She always had her phone. I knew something was wrong. I just want to know who did this. She was the shining light. Always brought a smile to everyone's face. She gave the best hugs. I just want one more of those hugs. She was just full of so much light. And she had hopes and, and dreams. You guys couldn't find a photo without a watermark on it? Well, we needed several photos of the same girl. This is seriously the best you guys could do? Um. Whenever the teacher asked a question, she was the first to raise her hand. She was just filled with all this light and, and promises and hope. Guys, no one is going to believe this. That's clearly just a stock photo model. Look, if your goal is to tap into YouTube's true crime audience, anyone who clicks this video is going to immediately know that it is fake. Okay, um, what if I pose as the missing girl? And then I could also pose as, like, the dead body for crime scene photos. Yeah, but then I'll be the only one doing testimonials. Idea. Idea. This is the kind of stuff you see in the movies. You never picture it happening to your own sister. I lost the ability to see because she's just a bundle of light in every room she walks into. I just want answers. Somebody knows something. I'm going to find out who took my sister. Stop doing this. It's creepy and weird. Can we use that? All the police had to go on when she went missing was the voicemail. I don't know if she knew that something was wrong and she called me on purpose or if she called me on accident, but the last we ever heard from her was a disturbing voicemail left on my phone. What the hell is this? Whatever you're doing, just stop it. I don't want any part of this. It's creepy and weird. Who is she talking to? What were they doing that was creepy and weird? I just wish I would have picked up the phone. 